my mom all these years as a florist. My hair is watching my Aunt Bev trying to do updos, do my best, and um, my nails are compliments of quarantine vitamins, all natural. Anyway, I'm nervous if you can't tell. See you in a minute. Your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us. We cannot contain your love will surely come find us like blazing wildfire. God of mercy, love of mine, I have surrendered to your design. May this offering stretch across the skies. Peace, hallelujah.
forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live. Janine, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's word in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live. Amen. The marriage of uh, Matt and Janine unites their families and creates a new one. This new family includes their kids, Catherine, Amanda, Hank, Jamie, Matthew, Cassie, Rebecca, and Eric. Did I remember everyone? <laughs> Matt and Janine ask for the blessing of all their family and friends, not only on their marriage, but on their kids. As their gathered Facebook Live family and friends, do you rejoice in their marriage and do you pray? God's blessing on them all? If so, comment now. <laughs> That's right. Comment now. We'll read it later. Will you who witness the promises that Matt and Janine have made to each other today do all in your power to encourage them in the days ahead? If so, comment some more. <laughs> and give us lots of those hearts and thumbs up, too. Amen. We all really do uh, need each other. Well, I've got a few sh thoughts to share. If I were to give a title to this uh, little wedding homily, it might be A Wedding to Remember. Yeah. This will be A Wedding to Remember. Uh, a GCN first. Congratulations. You're a part of the uh, almost entirely virtual wedding. And I'm pretty sure that the text that I shows for this particular wedding homily is the first as well in my 34 years of doing weddings. But it's the, it's the text that came to mind and that I couldn't shake as I anticipated uh, this opportunity in this wedding ceremony. So my text, at least to begin with, I might do a little wandering from here, is in the first chapter of James, verses 2 to 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I thought about the words of the Apostle Paul, Romans chapter 5, he says, perseverance produces character character, hope, and hope does not disappoint us. So maybe that's the uh, maturity and the completeness that James was thinking of in those few verses. I think you both have had a great attitude about all this. I'm thinking that you're thinking, if this is the worst that happens to you today, or in these days, you'll be okay. Right? But, it is a bummer. You would have liked Hank walking you down that center aisle. You both would have loved to have your kids here and all the family and friends that are watching now to actually be in this sanctuary with you. Um, this is a little bit of a trial. Mm -hmm. And I'd say you've passed the faith test. You've trusted God. You've stayed positive. And you've seen the good that could come out of this. All of that a sign of spiritual maturity and of your confidence in the love of God. And you know, I love that song that you picked to walk into, multiply, mm -hmm. need to breathe. Your love is radiant like, oh, your love is like radiant <laughs> diamonds. I should have just sung that one. <laughs> but here's the line that really stands out for me in that song. Your love, talking about God's love, your love will surely come to find us. Mm -hmm. Try to think about that. God pursues us. Christian faith isn't a hide-and-seek game where we have to try somehow to find God. God finds us. There's a larger story that we're all caught up in, and that's really the plot line. The fallen world needing saved, needing redeemed, needing set right again, and God comes into it pursuing us in his love. Reminds me of another song I'll always associate with your daughter 
Jake what I think maybe sang it here first, but every time I hear it, I her reckless love before he asked her. Mm-hmm. Love the lyrics of that song. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. That's God over us. You have been so, so kind to me. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found. Leave the 99. There's no shadow, you shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, come after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, come after me. And that's awesome. God pursues us and loves us. So, uh, Matt, you love Janine, Janine, you love Matt. We all love you guys. You guys love your kids with that fierce parent love. But none of that, all of that combined, doesn't hold a match to the love, the fierce, the undying, the unfailing love that God has for us. And I know you all would like everyone to know that, everyone to experience that, everyone to believe in that. And I, I would too. Because of his love, these uh, trials, to use the Apostle Paul's words, seem light and momentary compared to what we experience of him in this life and compared to what's ahead for us in this life and it's pretty steep as it. Well, more opportunities for testing in the days ahead. And you've both had plenty of that in your lives already. But I'm confident that you're going to keep trusting God. You're going to remain confident in His love. And He's going to be with you. I pray that all of us uh, live that way. Amen? Amen. Matt and Janine are going to exchange vows. Before they exchange those uh, traditional vows in our wedding ceremony, they prepared some remarks for each other. Normally it's ladies first, but I think no. today we're going to let it back go first. And then to the Okay, Matthew. Wow. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna step aside for this. <laughs> All right, I'm nervous, so I wrote my down. <laughs> Matthew Edward Harris. Come here. Sorry. Hi. See you. See you. You made me smile. We're very different people with core similarities. I'm not saying we're opposites, but more like complements. The most important um, being that we share our love of Christ. I may be more demonstrative in this area, as you're more reserved and reflective, but we're both lonely. Christ, follow Christ fully. Our families, we both have four children and their spouses. Our children, we raise them very differently. However, your children adore you, and they know you love them unconditionally, and the same with mine, because we're both the sacrificial givers. I look forward to our appreciated giving, and our running through the sea, which we struggle with. And um, we both have different strengths and weaknesses, but you're not intimidated by my strengths. In fact, you enjoy them. You encourage my creativity, even if it's leading me to a mistake. You tell me, go ahead and try and see. So that's awesome. My weaknesses, you accept and you serve as a support in those areas without judgment or mocking. I feel so valued by you. Not that I find my value in you, but that you value me for me just as I am. With no expectation other than what is natural to me. 
I look forward to us being a team. And we work really well together, especially painting a house. <laughs> Serving God together. Is that written in there? No. I got it. And with him, we will do great things. Okay? I look forward to many days of laughter with you. And please always continue to interrupt me when I'm working hard or when I'm grumpy to come and go look at the buttercup. I love you. Almost kissed you. That's too soon. <laughs> no kissing yet. Sorry. As we join hands and face each other, Matt, you'll be the first to repeat after me. I, Matt, take you, Janine. I, Matt, take you, Janine. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. <laughs> to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till the death do us part. Till the death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. I, Janine, take you, Matt. I, Janine, take you, Matt. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. That one of you brought today is a token of your love for Janine. A ring. Very good. That's and great. place that ring on her ring finger. And you will repeat after me again. Beautiful. Oh, upside down the wedding ring. ring. I know. Uh, <laughs> Here, you put that one on. Repeat after me. Yeah. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a token of my love, as a token of my love, and as a pledge, as a pledge of my constant faithfulness. Janine, what have you brought today as a token of your love for Matt? Um, a ring. Place that on the ring finger. No, This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of my constant faithfulness. And my constant faithfulness. One of the sacraments of the church is Holy Communion. Janine and Matt are going to uh, share communion together. It signifies unto us uh, and helps us remember the broken body and shed blood of Christ until it comes. Let's all, as we uh, share this moment with Matt and Janine, Take a moment to give thanks to God for the Lord Jesus and what he's done for us.
joining us and watching. We appreciate you being here and sorry you couldn't really be here for the hugs and the handshakes. And we'll get them later. Someday. Thank you. And thanks to our camera crew, Brian Schaefer, yes. our music man, Greg Plumston, our videographer, Catherine Bunting, our wedding coordinator, Kelly Spittler, and facilities care manager, Lisa Baldridge. Thanks to you guys for letting us have this privilege. Okay, okay here we go. Thanks to Hank and Katie and Jamie for singing this song.
Kelly, you going with him? What's this? Stay back, guys. Ha, ha, ha.